What's going on, Jerome's? The Minnesota Fighting Vikings are 11-3, currently holding down the two seed in the NFC. Uh, but if the season ended today, today, uh, how would things stack up? Now, first off, I just want to say I, I am not a proponent of trying to groove a playoff matchup. Like where, wherever you finish is where you finish. So I, I don't want to hear. Well, maybe the Vikings should try and get the three seed because then they could match up with the Giants or or whatever. Like there's no guarantee who's going to be the six or the seven seed. Uh, and I think it's just bad karma to just be like, hey, we want to play this team because we think that we can beat this team, and then that team is going to kick your ace. And that's exactly what happened. So you play to win the game, uh, play to get the two seed, uh, play to potentially get the one seed because the Eagles can maybe lose out without Jalen Hurts. Who, who knows? But if the season ended today, uh, the two seed Vikings would be hosting the seven seed uh, Washington Commanders. The Vikings beat the Commies 2017 at their place, uh, middle of the season. And also, TBD if it's going to be Taylor Heineke. I mean, it seems like there's just sort of... Uh, I, I don't know. After the loss to the Giants on Sunday Night Football, they're just sort of non-committal. Like maybe Carson Wentz will be back in there. <laughs> who, who knows? And, and maybe Chase Young will actually play. I don't know. I, I don't know, man. But I mean, the Commanders respect. I mean, they have one of the best passers in the NFL. If they get Young back, that's going to be a hell of a day. Uh, the then the Eagles currently have the one seed. You'd have the three seed Niners hosting the Giants in the Trey Junkin Bowl, uh, and then you have the Buccaneers somehow, some way, surviving a top. Uh, atop of the N NFC South, even though, I mean, it, I, I guess it's good that all four teams are within a game of the division lead, but, I mean, the winner of the division is probably going to have a sub-500 record, but is what it is. Uh, they will be hosting the 10-4 and Cowboys, who, by the way, just lost to the Jaguars and also only beat the Texans by four, but, you know, you know. You know, whatever there. Uh, so look at the NFC. Actually, look at the AFC just for schnitz and giggles, and then we'll go back to see who's uh, – Still in contention. So you got the Bills at one. You got the two seed Chiefs hosting the Dolphins. That'll be a fun game. I love it. You got the Bengals hosting the six seed Chargers. Ooh, Justin Herbert and company winning a couple in a row. Uh, ooh, Herbert versus Joe Burrow. It's a hell of a game. And they got the Tennessee Titans barely hanging on to life in the AFC South. Uh, although I, I think the Jaguars and Duval, they, they may get back in there, man. I think they they may win the division, uh, but they'll be hosting the nine and five Ravens. Lamar Jackson probably going to be back uh, in time for the playoffs. So uh, looking around, uh, so the Eagles are one, Vikings two, Niners three, Bucks at four, uh, Cowboys five, Giants six, Commies at seven. Uh, as they're a half game ahead of the Seahawks and the Lions. Now uh, Detroit and Seattle. I mean, they're neck and neck. Uh, they're going in different directions for sure. I mean, Detroit is surging. They've won six out of seven games. Uh, the Seahawks are just sort of <laughs> floundering, whatever. I mean, the Packers also could potentially get back into this thing. They have to win out. Uh, they have to finish nine and eight, and then they need a couple of good things to go uh, their way, uh, like the Commies dropping a couple of games, the Giants dropping a couple of games, uh, et cetera. And also, um, well, yeah, yeah, the Lions, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the Panthers are just in there. Panthers can't get a wild card, but they can still win the the NFC South. Actually, all, all four teams can win the NFC South, which is hilarious. But I mean, uh, go, going back to the, well, maybe we should finish with the three seeds, so then we get a better uh, matchup. I, I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it at all. Uh, it was a two seed versus seven seed, three seed versus six seed. Doesn't matter. You finish where you finish, and you play who you play. Uh, and like I said, I think it's just bad karma and juju to try and it's like, well, we don't want to play the surging Lions or the surging Packers, which that's an oxymoron. We don't want to play them as a two seed, and they're the seven seed. We'd rather play the Giants or blah blah blah. No, 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 no. You play who you play. Whoever gets in, gets in, and, and we'll go from there. But it, it is going to be interesting down the stretch. I mean, if Seattle can continues to flounder, if Detroit continues to put it on, uh, it, I mean, the Packers game, all of a sudden, uh, week 18 uh, against the Vikings, that one uh, takes on some pretty uh, big significance uh, if the Packers are able to win uh, this week and uh, stay in the playoff race. Uh, and can the commies hold serve? I mean, also, you're going to have a very hungry Giants team uh, coming in on Christmas Eve, U.S. Bank Stadium, as they try to maintain their playoff uh, positioning as well. Uh, but we'll see what happens uh, the rest of, of the way. And I think the Vikings may have to win out just to maintain that two seed and also have that chance at that one seed because Eagles, can you just drop one one time? We'd love to see it, man. You would. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. If the season ended today, looking at the playoff matchups, so what, uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Don't support the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.